How's it going guys? Today I'm bringing the alumni team video and this one's actually the University of North Dakota, otherwise known as the North Dakota Fighting Hawks. So as you guys can see there, quick look at the logo. Um, obviously in real life they usually just rock like North Dakota right across from the jersey, but they do have um, that Hawk logo with the ND behind it. So that's kind of the best we could do there. Um, overall, as you can see too, is 87, actually the exact same as Michigan Wolverines. Now, uh, Michigan finished last place, same with the Erie Otters alumni team build we did. So I'm hoping this is the first team that doesn't finish last in the NHL. Obviously, we'll have to wait and see, but I'll also go in now and show you guys all the jerseys, um, what the arena looks like. I actually made a mascot for this team as well. So right here, you guys can see the arena, really nothing special. Uh, next year, I'll show you the logo. Uh, so basically, it's just the hawk there, and the only difference between the primary and the secondary marks is the background color and how I use it with the jerseys. So uh, for the primary there, you can see it's green with a small black outline. Uh, the one secondary mark is just a thick green, and then the third there is green with a small white outline. So I think this isn't too bad looking when you compare it to their actual logo. Obviously, no way we'll get the ND behind it, but I don't think it looks too bad. I also did think about just using like the letter N, but I think this is definitely sharper looking. And then team colors there, you can see, of course, green, white, and black. Uh, pretty simple there. So team uniform, I think these turned out really well, to be honest with you. So right here is the home jersey. I'll show you guys a side-by-side -side just so you can kind of compare. Um, honestly, I think it looks pretty good. We got the stripes down, the color is pretty good, the pants there with the black and white stripe. Obviously using like the college font there, the closest to it. I also got the hawk on the shoulder patches just like in real life with the number on the front of the helmet too. So give you guys a quick close up look here. Um, the gloves too you can see kind of mix of green, white, and black. When I was looking online, uh, there was different gloves every single year and they always had all three colors on them. So I figured uh, that kind of just give it the most realistic look. And like I said before, because it's a college team, they got the numbers there on the front of their helmet and they had no decal on the side, so made sure to keep it clean. Uh, you can see there, like I was saying, the logo on the shoulder patch. Overall, I think this one turned out really good. Also, guys, forgot to mention too, obviously, um, all college teams wear their white jerseys as the home and the dark is their away. Now, North Dakota actually has two ways. So the first one here is the black. It's pretty much the exact same as the home. Aside from being opposite colors, I think the only real difference is on the socks. Uh, you can see there on the home, it's like three separate colors, where the away, it's kind of like the one thick green in the middle, but that's pretty much it. This one too is nice, I think. Really honestly do like the North Dakota jerseys, and they are pretty easy to make in-game. So just compare it there to the actual jersey, like I said, I think uh, it looks pretty good. Finally, the alternate here. This is actually probably my favorite one. Um, obviously, this is the green one, and as you can see there, it's another sharp-looking jersey. Actually, I'd use a different jersey style from the first two for this one. Uh, as you can see there, the first two have like five stripes at the bottom and on the sleeves, where and this one is just the three. Uh, same sort of socks, though, as the away there, but like I was saying, I really like this one. Um, obviously, they're known for having those green jerseys, so you can wear these or the blacks when you're away. And of course, you wear the whites at home. Again, compare it there to the real-life jersey. I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, finally here guys, I want to give you one last look at the jerseys on the skaters as well as the goalies. So uh, right there is a look at the home. Again, I really like these jerseys and right there of course you can see it on the goalie. I think the white equipment with the white jersey definitely looks the best. And then next here you have the away skater. Um, again, the blacks definitely uh, mix it up with the away goalie. Goalie equipment does not change. And then finally here you have the alternate skater, which again, they basically I think wear the green and black 50-50 when they're away. Um, with the alternate goalie. So, uh, some pretty sick jerseys there. Now, of course, we have to find out what the team's looking like. Is the team gonna look as good as these jerseys? Um, also, too, guys, I wanna show you the details quickly. So, um, Fighting Hawks there. The North Dakota city name's actually in-game. Of course, North Dakota's a state, but if it's not already in there as a city name, you can't use it. Um, unlike everything else, you can't just enter what you want, so I'm glad that was there. Um, also, for the play-by-play -play name, we actually have Hawks available. No Fighting Hawks, but still, um, not too bad. Reviation ND, and the arena name there is Ralph Engelstad Arena. Also, guys, like I mentioned before, I did make a mascot for this team, so I'll show you what their real-life mascot looks like on screen right now, and I did my best to recreate it in-game, so there you go. Um, it's okay, I guess. I think the head's not too bad. The body, though, could definitely be better. Unfortunately, there's no, like, bird body with feathers and wings, so I had to use, like, the stinger body there just to get us some wings. Not quite bird wings, but, I mean, the colors are right. The green body um, with the white head. Again, it's not the greatest ever, but I feel like it's decent. And moving on to the franchise sim now, guys. For this, I'm going to be subbing out the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, reason being, they're the lowest rated team in the West. Also, they already have a couple... Uh, players from the North Dakota alumni team on their team, so uh, just lowers the amount of duplicates. Um, also, too, I'm actually going to be switching up the divisions, as North Dakota is like 100% a central team. Um, you can't really get much more central than North Dakota, so uh, we're going to put them in there. We already know 
Uh, they are 87 overall. And as you can see there, top players, Jonathan Taze, TJ Oshie, Brock Besser. Um, not too bad at all. So, like I was saying, I'm going to mix it up a bit. They need to be in the central. I thought I could just move them over, but apparently we have to take a team back. So, of all the central teams, I feel like Colorado is probably the most west. Plus, they were in the Pacific Division back in the day. So, we'll do that there. Um, still a pretty tough central division we have to compete against, but obviously get some nice rivalries there with Minnesota. And just like the last two alumni teams, guys, North Dakota's team stats, there is Rebuilder, but honestly, they're not too bad. Like, they have a decent amount of depth. I don't think they'll finish last. We'll have to wait and see. So here's finally a look at the team. First line there, you have TJ Oshi, Jonathan Taze, and Brock Besser. So not too bad at all. Uh, Taze and Oshi actually played on the same team in North Dakota. That's where that famous picture of them is from, where they're both wearing like Abercrombie or whatever. Uh, they definitely partied pretty hard, I think, in North Dakota. So I figured why not reunite them on this team. And then playing on their other wing is Brock Pesser. So should be a pretty nasty first line. Also, I'll show you guys their potentials. So obviously, Besser there, medium elite. He could easily be a high 80 by the end of the season. Uh, Taze there, also elite. And then Oshi there is top six. Um, second line here, you have Parise, Nick Schmaltz, and Brock Nelson. So a pretty solid second line. Um, Nelson there, medium top six. He's only 26, so he could grow as well. Uh, Schmaltz also there, medium top six. Same with Parise. So I think a very good second line. Uh, Tyson Joss here on the third line. I actually made him a winger, playing with Travis Zajac and Drake Kajula. Uh, Kajula there also has top six. It's high top six, so he could grow by quite a bit. Um, Zajac's top nine, and then Joss is also top six. So again, the forwards got a good amount of depth. Uh, the fourth line could definitely be better, but it's okay. So you got Drew Stafford here with Luke Johnson and uh, Carter Rowney. Uh, Rowney there's got bomb six potential. Same with Johnson and Stafford. But again, for a fourth line, it's not terrible. Also, another pretty cool thing about this forward group, uh, nine of the 12 are actually first round picks. So uh, TJ Oshie there, Jonathan Taze, Brock Besser, Parise, Schmaltz, Nelson, like the entire top six were first round picks, as well as half of the bottom six. So uh, Joss and Zajac there were first round picks as well. Uh, Kajula, of course, undrafted, signed with Edmonton, and then Stafford there also first round pick. So North Dakota obviously does pump out some pretty good players. On defense here, you have Forbert and Stetcher as a top pair. Not too bad. Uh, low top six for Stetcher, low top four for Forbert. Um, Ladue and Schmaltz are on the second pair. They're probably more of a bottom pair, both 78s, but they have decent potential. And then bottom pair there is Wallenin and Pullman. This is more of an AHL uh, D pair. Pullman, of course, 74 overall there. Medium top six, though. And then Wallenin, 73, also has medium top six. So maybe they can grow to at least like 77s or something. Uh, the defense is definitely the weakest point, but I feel like it's good enough. It should be okay with how good the forwards are. Uh, North Dakota actually has a decent goalie, though, unlike the last two alumni teams. As you can see here, Aaron Dell is our starter, 81 overall. Obviously, we don't have like a true starting goaltender, but it's a lot better than having like a 70 as your starter. And then backing him up there is Zane McIntyre, who's a 72. So um, honestly, I think this team is pretty good. There's a good amount of young players with potential that could grow during the season and get better. I'll give you guys a quick look at the power play as well. That first unit is honestly pretty solid. The second unit is okay. Again, I think this team has the depth, which might be more important than say, having Connor McDavid and then having like an AHL goalie as your starter. The fact that we have depth could be the difference between finishing last and at least being somewhat competitive. Another pretty cool thing about this team as well, guys, um, eight players on it were actually on the 2016 championship team. So uh, they were Brock Besser, Nick Schmaltz, Drake Kajula, Luke Johnson, uh, I think four of the six defensemen, um, Stetcher, Ledoux, Wallenin, and Poolman all were on the championship team. So pretty much half this team is the 2016 championship team. Also two scratched, uh, Gersich here, he was also on it. So um, that's kind of crazy just how good that championship team was. Like half that team or almost half, you know, eight of 20 guys is now in the NHL. So kind of insane. Obviously we'll get to the sim now. Also too, I'll show you guys the captain C's and the jersey numbers. I like to switch it back to their college jersey numbers, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, so obviously, Taze is going to be the captain. It's Captain Taze. He's wearing the C. And then the two alternates there, you have Besser and Oshi. I'll give you guys a quick look at what Taze looks like too in the North Dakota jersey. Rocking the C and the number 9. I think that's pretty nasty. Uh, so some other changes here. Zajac's wearing 15. Uh, Prize still has 11. Kajula also wore 9, so he's wearing 19. Um, Besser here wearing 16, opposed to 6. Um, Oshi also wearing 7 opposed to 77 on uh, defense here. I think some of them stay the same, but a lot of them have differences. And then in goal here, we have Dell who's wearing 32. I think he wears like 30 or 31 in the NHL. So also, guys, I want to play a bit of a preseason game so you can see what this team actually looks like on ice. Um, as you can see, pretty good preseason so far. We're 4-0. Unfortunately, the preseason doesn't really mean much in this game. A lot of times you can go like undefeated in the preseason and then still finish last. So uh, we'll sim the first couple periods here. 
Um, as you can see, they're actually up 2 nothing. with do an Oshi, okay. Uh, third period, get, oh, sorry, that's my thought. Both green icons, it's tough to tell. So, I'll simply there's like two minutes left in the third, jump in, just kind of see what this team actually looks like. And right here, you guys can see our stats. 89 offense, 86 defense, and 76 goaltending. I think the goaltending stat's actually 85, but uh, right now they have the backup in, I noticed. Uh, so, I'm going to rock the away jerseys here. Actually, let's rock the alternate. Let's rock the green. I like that one the best, I think, just because Dallas is rocking the whites. Plus, we already know what they look like in the white jersey from the uh, player screen. So, we'll actually have the green ones here on ice. Should be sick. Like I was saying, guys, a couple minutes left here in the third. We're actually still up 2-1. to one. Those jerseys look good on ice, I'm not going to lie. There's like a minute left here, guys. We actually got the first line out now. Uh, I like it too. Like, you can see Taze Ryan number 9, Oshi Ryan 7. I think it just looks sick. Uh, them having the college numbers with the college jerseys. Uh, and still, hold on here. One goal lead. If we win this one, we actually only have to win one more to go undefeated in the preseason, which would be kind of sick. Big hit from forward there. I don't know who that was. About to shoot. Oh my god, Taze just gets wrecked as well. Two seconds left. Ooh, that was a big rebound. So there we go. Um, big win again. I really like the look at these jerseys on the bench there. Also just in the fans, um, everyone wearing them. So we'll get started with the sim now. We'll see, you know, how good this team is. I mean, our backup goalie there uh, was first star. So that's a good sign. And check this out, guys. We actually did beat the Jets there in the final game of the preseason. We went 6-0. and oh, So we'll see whether or not this uh, translates to the regular season. We'll check back in at the deadline and see... Just how good this team's doing. And we're not the trade deadline here, guys. Not doing quite as well as we did during the preseason. Uh, record there, 23-30-9. We actually had a great start to the year. Um, in October, I think, we finished the month 9-3. and So we were one of the better teams in the NHL like, in the first month. And then after that, it just all went downhill. So I'll see the leading score is right now at the deadline date and where we are in the standings. So best of there, 50 points, which isn't too bad. And then 55 points puts us last in the division. Um, eight back there of Winnipeg so you know not where we wanted to be but again I just really hope we can somehow find a way not to finish last. Alright guys so down to the end of the season as you can see there we did finish the negative record but not an absolutely terrible record. Uh, 32, 40, and 10 gives us 74 points. There's a chance we do not finish last. Again that is the goal here. Um, as you can see that we did finish last in division though. Very good division. I probably made it tougher too. Uh, like Winnipeg there was second last with 90 points. Only three points out of a playoff spot. That's kind of insane. Uh, Best of there finished with 61 points. Surprised he didn't have more than that considering where he was at um, during the deadline. So we'll see how everyone else on this team did. And then of course, whether or not we got last place. So um, right behind him, Jonathan Tays, 57 points. Isn't too bad. Prize here having 44 is pretty solid. Uh, Joss, 36 is the third liner. That's pretty good. Uh, he's actually gone up one and overall to a 79. Best are here, still an 86. All right. Oshi 34 on the first line. That's Oshi should have done better. Like Taze and Best are both around 60. Oshi had about half of that. It's not too good. I guess he wasn't just doing well in the power play. We had him first line power play net on the wing. Only three points. I don't know how that happens. Um, Zajac there, like one point behind him. Same with Nelson, just a couple behind. So, I mean, yeah, Oshi definitely let us down. Other than that, though, everyone else I think did how we expected them to. I'll see here Dell stats for the year. So he played a lot. 69 games played. 28, 33, and 7, 4 shutouts, 0.915, 2.65 goals against. That's actually not too bad numbers. McIntyre's weren't too great, 4, 10, and 3. Um, obviously, we're going to ride Dell as much as we can. He's 81 overall. It's a lot better than a 72 overall backup. So maybe we had like another 81, could have somehow made a playoff push. I'll take a look here and see too who the leading score was in the entire league. If it's like the Vancouver Besser, no, we replaced Besser. So. Tavares is actually leading scorer. Just wanted to see if it was like any of our guys on a different team, but no John, no Jonathan Taze or anything, so that's good. And like I was saying, guys, now I'm going to check and see where we finished the entire league. So we know we got last in the division. I feel like 74 points, though. Um, the last two alumni teams we did, Michigan and Erie, they were both in the mid-60s, so there's a chance that there's some team that's worse than us. 79s, this is getting scary. 78, 74, we are not last place. Let's go. The Devils and Detroit Red Wings both finished worse than us. So, I mean... Obviously, we didn't win the playoffs, but that is an improvement there. Not finishing last. We'll take it. Also, guys, when I was looking at the lines, I noticed a few other guys grew in ratings. So, um, Bester, I'm pretty sure, actually started out 85, which means he grew to an 86. Uh, Kajula is now an 80. Also on defense, Schmaltz here, also now an 80. So, might as well put him on the top pair there with Forbert. And I think Wallenin was a 72 or 73, now a 74. So, not too bad. Also, guys, the draft line results just came in. As you can see there, New Jersey's picking first overall again. Uh, we actually have the fifth pick, so I think we haven't yet won the draft lottery. 
um, in one of these alumni things, which is pretty crazy considering the fact we haven't made the playoffs once. So not only are we like not making playoffs, we're also not even winning the lotteries. It's like worst case scenario. So um, as you can see here, the Maple Leafs actually won the Stanley Cup in this sim. So I'll show you guys the awards. I don't think we could have won one, but might as well uh, check here. They actually beat Dallas there on um, the Stanley Cup final. So Art Ross Trophy went to Tavares. We know that. Tarasenko there with a the heart. Uh, Seth Jones got James Norris. Patty Kane, Lady Bing. Calder there went to middle stat. I was thought maybe we could have got the Calder from someone, but I guess not. Kadri Khan Smythe. Uh, Vasilevsky there with the Vesna and the William M. Jennings. Uh, forward though, Bill Masterson. So I think the F Bill Masterson does go to like a defenseman on a bad team. I'm not sure what else they do to decide it, but that's a couple times now we won the Bill Masterson, so that's kind of sick. Also, as you can see right here, Taze won the Selkie, so I mean, we got two player awards on the year. That's not too bad. Uh, Obi there with Mr. Shard, I'll definitely take it. I think that's the most awards we've won so far, so we didn't finish last. We got a couple player awards. Really can't complain. And now guys, I just want to show you what the team looks like after simming through the entire summer. Uh, team status there is still a rebuilder. A bunch of players, though, did grow, so... Uh, first line is now Parise, Taze, and Besser. Besser's an 87. Um, Oshi actually dropped in rating to an 84. Like I said, he had a rough year. I don't know why. Uh, he was playing left wing, so I got him back on the right wing now. Maybe that would have you know worked out better for him. Schmoltz also dropped by one. I thought he had an okay enough year to keep his rating at least. Uh, Joss is an 81 now. Same with Kajula. Um, Nelson, Zajax did the same. Uh, Gersich here is actually 74 now, so he's replacing um, Stafford, who I scratched as he's older. So... Uh, we got like a new guy in the lineup. Uh, defense here, Schmaltz an 81 now. Wallen in there is a 77. Uh, Pullman 75. Ledoux still a 77. Then goalies, Dell's actually an 82 now. So nothing crazy in terms of growth, but a little bit there. I don't think this team would be making the playoffs yet or anything. We simmed the second year. So if you did enjoy this video, please give a thumbs up. Also, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Thank you guys again for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye. <laughs>